Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about how to throw a change up. Now there are a lot of different kinds of change ups. In fact, I think there are about five or six that we teach here at Fast Pitch Power. But today I'm going to be focusing on the circle change, which is the change up that we typically teach girls who are either learning the change up for the first time or girls who are struggling with that speed differential, many times one of the most common issues that we hear from pitchers that they feel like their changeup is too fast. This is a really great changeup because it really forces the ball to be up against the palm of your hand. And it's just a really easy grip and release for first time pitchers to learn. So how you're gonna grip this pitch is you're going to find that C seam. It kind of looks like a horseshoe. You're gonna push the palm of your hand and let your pointer finger and thumb trace those horseshoe seams. But then you're gonna bring the pointer finger and thumb even closer together to make a circle on the top of the ball. Hence the name circle change up. Now, we are going to go over the two most important things to remember about change ups. And then I'm gonna demonstrate how to throw it and some of the important things that you need to remember. We have instruction on every single change up, how to throw every single change up, and we go into a lot more detail in it on Fast Pitch Power Plus, which is going to be coming out very soon. So if you guys are interested in learning other types of change ups or going into way more detail about the change up and looking for specific drills to practice your change up, make sure you check out Fast Pitch Power Plus when it comes out. We've also got our beginners clinic live now and we've got an intermediate and advanced clinic coming out soon as well. But, so let's talk about the two most important things to remember when you're throwing a change up. And number one, and I cannot stress this enough, is not slowing down or shortening your motion. That is by far the first thing that we see, especially when girls are first learning the change up, they assume, oh, you know, this pitch is supposed to be slower than my fastball, I'll just slow my body down and that will give me my change in speed. But there's two issues with this. One, slowing down the whole motion makes it more difficult to reach the plate. You'll see a lot of pitches that go short. But then two, and probably most importantly, you need to remember that your change up must be deceptive. It must look exactly like your fastball to the batter. Otherwise, if you happen to slow down and get that pitch to cross the plate, that batter is going to recognize the pitch from a mile away and she's going to just take a hack and crush it. And you want to fool the batter. You want her to think it's coming in like a fastball and then she swings and the ball takes five more seconds to pass the plate. So number one thing to remember, never ever slow down, never shorten your stride off the rubber, never slow down arm and drive through speed it will make you lose distance and it will not fool the batter. And the second most important thing to remember about your changeup is that there is no whip or snap in a changeup. So all this time we've been telling you for fastballs, palm up, elbow down at the back side of the arm circle, lead from the elbow, snap and fire out, super nice and loose, get that good spin. There's none of that in a changeup. For the changeup, we are not leading from the elbow. Our hand is a little bit more straight at the back side of the throw zone. The circle, if you're throwing a circle change, should always be on top. The elbow does not lead. The hand leads and it pushes out. There's no whip or snap. Whip and snap create spin, which creates speed. And that's something that we don't want on our changeup. We want a very good loss of speed on our changeup. So let's take a look at how we're going to throw our changeup. So I've got my circle grip and the key here Again, and this really, the circle changeup, the reason I like it is because it really does force you, the ball to be right up against the palm of your hand, which takes away a lot of the ability to use the fingers and wrist. So it's much less likely that you're going to get spin and snap on the ball, which is, again, why I like the circle changeup so much. So, like we talked about in the most common issue, the first most common issue, want to make sure we're staying explosive, really, really fast arm and drive through speed, and still getting to the end of the throw zone, which we're going to talk about in a second. So I'm going to push that ball right up against the palm of my hand. I'm going to load, push out, and deliver. Now let's freeze here for a second. Take a look at where my hand is. And I know you guys can't see my net, but that ball went right down the middle, nice, nice and low, but still in the strike zone. Look where my hand is. It's still very much out 
to the front side past my leg, but it's a little bit lower than where I would finish my fastball. So my fastball, so here's where my hand finished for my changeup. My fastball finishes up here. My changeup finished down here. So it's slightly downhill, but other than the grip and where I released my pitch, everything else is exactly the same as the fastball. The reason we release that change up downhill is because it gets us good distance from extending past the front leg, but it prevents the change up from being too high. We all know how dangerous a waist high change up can be, especially when you're first learning the pitch and you might not have that really good speed differential just yet. If you're throwing basically a waist high off speed fastball, we definitely have a name for that pitch and it's a home run. So it's really, really important to make sure you're keeping that change up in the strike zone, yes, but low in the strike zone. So let's take a look at that one more time. So again, I've got my circle grip push nice and deep against the palm of my hand. I'm gonna make sure I'm staying explosive, tall and stacked and back, maintaining arm and drive through speed. And I'm gonna push that ball out, always making sure that the circle is on top. And I'm gonna keep my hand nice and low, but extend out to the end of the throw zone. Load, push. So that is how you throw a circle change up. Again, if you guys are interested in learning all of the other kinds of change up, because we understand that one change up might not work as well for one girl as it does for another. We all have different preferences. But here at Fast Pitch Power, we teach the push change, the horseshoe change, the circle change, the flip change, a shovel change, and a knuckle change, which isn't our favorite, but we do teach it. So there are lots of different ways that you can throw a change up. And we have, or we will have, really, really in-depth instruction for each one of them, as well as different drills you can do to practice those change up, coming soon on Fast Pitch Power Plus. So if you're interested in that, be on the lookout for that soon. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. I'm gonna be doing a series of how-tos for all of the other pitches coming soon, and I'll talk to you next time.